So I have barefoot on the earth right now, grounding, because these energies right now are super potent, okay? And that's the biggest thing, guys, is to stay really grounded, connect with the natural frequencies of the earth. I thought I'd come out here today and spend time in the forest, but I really want to do this video. Um, so I thought, you know, I'll ground and I'll do this video because we are going through so many changes right now. Our DNA is restructuring. And it may feel a bit, it sounds a bit weird what's going on, okay? And a lot of us are trying to really understand this time as the earth goes through the shift. The earth is embodying so much more light. There's so much light coming in through the earth and through all of us. So that means changes are going to occur. Anything that is dark, that is heavy, that is not of love is going to come up to the surface to be purified. So that's the same with the earth. Mother Gaia is purifying, okay? You're purifying. We're all purifying at this time, whether we know it or not. And, you know, we've heard of, you know, the word, the terms ascension symptoms. Everyone's gone through these ascension symptoms, but let's understand them a bit better so we can better understand how to manage this time as we shift. You look at the, the sun right now. The, the sun goes through cycles, okay? And we're in solar cycle 25, which is max, okay? Maximum, solar maximum right now. That means, you know, the amount of light that's coming through the sun is at its peak right now. They reckon it was meant to peak in 2025. A lot of people are feeling it's peaking now in 2024. So, you know, we don't need to, you know, look at, you know science and all these sort of things because a lot of science is pretty rigged these days okay it's a lot of it's run by a lot of you know corrupt organizations and stuff okay we just go by how we feel internally pay attention to how you're feeling through this shift pay attention to the sun you can see the sun the changes in the sun the sun is bright white these days do you remember the sun used to be golden yellow back in the day so that's telling us yes more lights coming through the sun Okay, every 26,000 years we go through a shift. We're in a big shift right now. The whole earth is changing, and we need to keep up with the changes energetically, emotionally, physically, okay, spiritually. We need to keep up with the changes, otherwise, our physical body will struggle, our mind will struggle. So we can really support ourselves at this time. A lot of people are really struggling with aches and pains right now. So look at it like this, okay. When you're being purified, we're purifying. So we look at it like this way. We're going through a detox. We're going through a spiritual detox, okay? a physical detox, and a mental and emotional detox with any detoxification process. Okay? And this isn't just applied to us. It applies to the earth. Look at the earth. It's been detoxed. We're being purified. But with any detoxification process, the heaviness, the gunk, look at it that way. The gunk needs to come up and out. And if you've ever done any sort of detoxing protocol before, you know when you're detoxing and you're dumping out old things, okay, we really need to support our body. Otherwise, you can feel sick. You can have Herxmer reaction, okay? Your body's just dumping out too many toxins. You're feeling sick, okay? So this is what's actually happening at the time, right now. As we do the shadow work, okay, look at this way. You bring the light to the shadow. So you're going internally and you're going to heal the old traumas because it's very important to ascend is to bring awareness to the old traumas. Bring the light to it, because you are the light. Is bring an awareness. So when you bring awareness to these old traumas, this is how you do the shadow work. Things come up to the surface, you feel it, you process it, you feel it. And sometimes it feels super uncomfortable, but we need to feel it our way through it for it to be able to pass, for it to be able to release from our cells, because we're holding stuff in our cells. We've held traumas in our cells. And not just in this lifetime. We've held trauma in ourselves for many lifetimes. Yeah, many lifetimes. We've been through it all, guys. Okay, and you're most like, like you're most likely an old soul. That's why you're here watching my video. Okay, if you're new here, I'm Susie, and I help people ascend. So feel free to subscribe, hit the like button if you resonate. So what's happening is we're going through this big detoxification process. The body's purging big time. We're doing the shadow work. The light's coming through and helping us do the shadow work because what's happening is it's expanding our consciousness. When we go through this shift, this change, our, expanded, our consciousness expands. So to have a high state of consciousness, okay, means we've got to let go of a lot of the density, a lot of the heaviness, the childhood traumas. Maybe you're going so deep that, you know, you're you know, you, you digging out old traumas from past lives and how many past lives have you had really how many times have you incarnated 
Maybe you know, maybe you don't know. It, it doesn't matter though. The point is, we need to support our body. Because a lot of people are getting physical aches and pains because the purification process, we have been purified so much. And if you're active like me on your healing journey, you ain't playing about, okay? So, when people get aches and pains, I'll just start with aches and pains in the physical body. It's because, okay, we're detoxing and you need to move your body more. Is the first thing, it's really important to move your body more. And I always talk about yoga, stretching. Okay, because when we're stretching our body, okay, when we're, we're loosening and everything up, we're moving our body, the light's coming through purifying us. Okay, things need to keep moving. You look at your Kundalini energy flow, okay, Kundalini needs to flow. So, if you think about all of your main chakras, they're being purified, where's this energy gonna go? If, if you ain't moving, you're sitting stationary, you're not doing nothing, you're really gonna be aches, you're gonna be really achy. You're going to be in a lot of pain. A lot of people are in a lot of pain right now. Because, okay, look at this. The, the purification of the emotional stuff that's held in the cells. Okay? Then, you've got to look at other factors too. Like environmental toxins. Okay? Distinct toxins for a moment, guys. Distinct toxins. Environmental toxins. Toxins in the food and water supply. Okay? And then... That, that's the main thing okay and toxins if you you know whatever you're putting on your body so you need to be really mindful at this time to when we talk purify write that down purify goal is to purify mind body and spirit mind body and spirit so i'm getting smashed by mosquitoes here but oh, it's all one love it's all one love so it's really important to support our body through the detoxification process yeah and if you probably find, like, you know, if you're doing any energy work or if you've gone to see an energy healer, you understand how energy works, you know, we f flow the energy through you and what happens is it's a detoxification process. So it's important to drink lots of water to flush these toxins out. So with any detox, we need to make sure that we're supporting our physical body, okay? So that means we really need to scan our diet because, you know, if you look at, you know, the typical diet that's out there it's processed foods these foods aren't even fit for human consumption these foods are poison my friends please start to pay attention to the foods that you're putting in your body right now really be aware because your body's pushing out so many toxins as it is that's why you're hurting that's why you're in a lot of pain okay so scan your foods research your foods try to eat as clean and organic as you can okay try to eat as clean and organic as you can stay away from that tap water stay away from fluoride you want to stay away from, you know, um, household products that are chemical based. You want to stay away from any skincare products that are chemical based. You want to, you want your your vessel to be purified. You need your body right now to be so clean, as clean as possible, so you can embody more light. So this shift, this process, isn't difficult for you. Yeah. So really supporting your body. Look at foods that are going to help you detox your body. Look at detoxing foods when you eat. We're eating to mineralize our body. So make that your goal. Eat to mineralize and eat to detox. There's certain herbs, there's certain um, vegetables, there's certain foods and teas that you can have that will help your body detox. I talk about detoxing a lot, guys, okay? It's really important, yeah? That could be a reason why you're experiencing a lot of pain. But then also, if we have a look at, um, you know, emotions, like a lot of old emotions, maybe you're holding on to, you know, a lot of guilt, for example. And guilt is lodged in your lower chakras, okay, in your sacral chakra. Say you're holding on to a lot of guilt there, okay? You're holding on to a lot of guilt. That can um, manifest, emotions manifest into physical disease, my friends. You heard me talk about liver before, how liver is the emotion held, housed in the liver is anger. So if you're having these aches and pains in your body, you need to really be aware, okay? What's the emotion here now? Now we do the shadow work. Bring the light. You are the light. Bring awareness to it, okay? Where am I still holding on to? Guilt, perhaps, or anger, or shame, or fear. A lot of people are instilled with fear right now. There's a lot of fear, propaganda, and all this crap going on out there in the crumbling matrix. Okay, it ain't the end of the world. It's the end of the old world. Okay, people are waking up now, becoming aware of their divinity, becoming aware of this shift. So it's really important we look after our body and we do the shadow work and we go within. We shine the light within and we pull out, we pull all the layers. You can't ascend if you're sitting in the density. You can't ascend if you're sitting in your lower chakras where all the guilt, shame, fear, traumas, all those things are held on in the lower chakras. We need to come to our heart space now. This is where it's at, my friends, in your heart. The portal to ascension is through your heart because you expand your consciousness, you expand your awareness. Okay, 
So keep doing the inner work. Keep doing the shadow work. Okay, if you need help with your healing, okay, reach out. Reach out to people. Speak to the universe. Universe, please help me. Send me the right healer to help me heal this trauma. Universe, please give me what I need. Ask the universe. Ask the universe and you'll receive. I promise you that, my friends. You will always receive, okay? I'm getting bitten so much down here. Don't mind me. I'm just going to scratch away here. Oh. <laughs> okay? Life's good when you're sipping tea in the bush. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people are experiencing um, lethargic at this time, okay? People are feeling real lethargic, real tired, real wiped out because the cells are being purified. And when you um, are going through, you know, we're going through a deep detoxification process. Look at that way. We're constantly detoxing. We're purifying, okay? So feeling tired means you need to drink more water. You need to flush the toxins out of your body. So you need to look at things that are going to help assist pull the toxins out of your body. I am a big fan of coffee enemas. Because, okay, it sounds really extreme. It's, it is a pretty extreme process. A coffee enema is pretty extreme. Please do your research on it, okay? Coffee enemas help cure cancer. This was done many, many years back in ancient Egypt. They used to use coffee enemas. It pulls the toxins out of your liver. Look at it like this. It purifies your blood. It's like a dialysis for your liver. Coffee enemas, okay? So do your research correctly. And if you choose to do them, make sure that you're doing your research and you're doing it correctly, okay? Please take everything I say okay and do your own research with it okay use this as a disclaimer okay i'm not a medical doctor i'm a holistic healer life experience life taught me many things okay so these are the things that work for me okay so um you know you want to really support your body through this process so you know um lots of water um because you know and using binders as well like charcoal is a good binder What's a binder? It grabs the toxins and it pulls it out of your system. Okay? A binder, for example, you can use charcoal, like activated charcoal. I use charcoal sometimes as a binder. Zeolite. Zeolite is a really good binder. Okay? So it grabs these heavy metals, it grabs all these toxins, and it pulls it out of your system. So please do your research on that. Okay? So I've used zeolite. I've used zeolite powder before. And also charcoal, activated charcoal. And there's other different um, binders out there, like chlorophyll, for example. I haven't used chlorophyll. I'm exploring that at the moment. Okay? So please explore the binders, okay? And like I said, teas are really good. Teas are really good. Juices are really good. Okay? Um, work with herbs. Work with herbs and spices because they're really good. Okay? Mother Earth gave us everything that we need to purify, to detox, to heal. Earth is the medicine. Okay, so give your gratitude to Mother Gaia when you, you know, you're out there foraging and you're picking your herbs, or you're out in your garden, or when you're eating food, always bless your food and give your gratitude to Mother Gaia. Give your gratitude to the sun, the rain, the water. Okay, because we're being nourished. Okay, we're being nurtured by the foods that we eat. Okay, we need to give our gratitude. So eating correctly is really going to assist you at this time. Make sure you are eating correctly. Okay. Um, um, so yeah with ascension symptoms there's a lot of things going on like a lot of people you know are feeling dizzy and stuff and these are other reasons why as well you're not hydrated enough a lot of people are drinking like a lot of water okay like you know up to four liters a day I drink four liters a day sometimes okay I know when I need more okay I know when I need more I know when to back up a bit but the thing is with water you're drinking so much water and you're going to the toilet so you're constantly flushing you're flushing but when you're flushing you're losing electrolytes you're losing minerals so you want to make sure that you mineralize in your body by putting a good salt okay adding good salt to your water or just putting a bit of good salt on your tongue after you drink water every time you finish in the toilet you drink more water put a bit of salt on your tongue and I use Celtic salt okay Celtic salt or you can use Himalayan pink salt and these are going to uh, mineralize your body so you're not going to lose electrolytes you need your essential electrolytes especially if you're doing things like coffee enemas water enemas water enemas are really good okay because when you're doing enemas okay you're emptying the colon you're emptying the whole colon and you know really we're meant to be going and emptying our bowels you know at least three times a day okay depends how much you're eating maybe you only do what one meal a day okay so yeah it's fine you empty your bowel once but you know we're supposed to go regularly so water enemas help you you know just release okay just helps you expel go to the toilet and expel and especially if you're doing things like parasite cleansing because you know we're looking at um detoxing on all levels so we are um expelling from our body um, the physical parasites too 
the physical parasites. So killing off parasites. Parasites are very toxic in the body, especially things like fluke, liver fluke, and all these parasites are really hectic, guys. Okay, they can absolutely they can kill you. Parasites can kill you, legit. Okay, and they're toxic. But when you kill them off, okay, they release endotoxins too, which are even more toxic than the actual parasite itself. So if you're not supporting your body, your detox pathways, you're really going to struggle. You're going to feel off. You're really going to feel shit. Okay? People talk about ascension symptoms all the time, but what about the, the mental side of things? You feel like you're going crazy sometimes. You feel like all these... Pay attention, okay? And you've probably experienced this before. Maybe you're experiencing this now where your mind is just like full on going. It's like constant mind chatter. It's like you're hearing these voices. It's like a schizophrenic episode. Personally... I don't believe in schizophrenia. I believe in energy, entities, demons, whatever you want to call it. It's just energy. It's just energy. Okay? Demons is just energy. It's a low vibrating energy. So when we go through traumas in life, we go through severe trauma. And you go back to childhood, you look at the traumas there, all the way up to where you are today. Okay? And we have accumulation of that old ass energy. And we're not working through those traumas. Where's the energy going to go? It's going to lurk around you in your energy field. You end up with holes and cracks and tears in your aura. In your aura. Okay? Because of unhealed trauma. And these energies latch onto your aura. So it's very important to do the inner work. So we're clearing. So when you go through, you know, all this mind chatter stuff, be really aware. Pay attention. Because half the time this ain't even your voices. It's like they do like thought trance. It could feel like your thoughts, but it's not really your thoughts. Okay? So... The more um, you observe your mind and you pay attention to how the mind works, scan your mind, understand how the ego works, and you'll start to see, okay, what's your thoughts and what's not your thoughts. You'll get to that point where your mind is still. So when we're going through the healing process and we're having things shaken up and stirred up in us, shadow gets shaken up too. The shadow, the energies, entities, demons, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people have energy attachments and don't realize, but they're all just from traumas. And we come into lifetime. Okay, we've, we've had many lifetimes. So if you're going in deep, you ain't playing around. You're here to ascend. You're going in deep. You're clearing out old traumas and old things from past timelines, past lifetimes. Maybe you come into this lifetime with generational curses. Maybe you come into this lifetime with a whole heap of dense ass energy. So, and you pay attention because the deeper you go as well, not the deeper, but as you go in, okay, as you go in deep, and yeah, as you go in and you bring a light to it. Okay, you're doing the shadow work, things get stirred up. Okay, and these energies like to fuck with you. Okay, when you're vulnerable. So you're more powerful than them, than those energies. We don't need to put fear into this. We don't need to say, oh, this person's got a demon attached to them. It's just energy. Look at it like that. We don't need to fear nothing. There's nothing. Fear stands solid in your, in your light because you are the light. Okay, so you think about it, we're purifying mind, body, and spirit. We're purifying on all levels. Our physical body is so important right now. Okay? Our physical body is so important right now. And addictions is a big thing. You know, I've been talking a bit about lately. <laughs> My legs are so covered in mosquito bites right now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm just going to have a good scratch here, guys. <laughs> Get off me, little mosquitoes. Like, legit, there's so many. I'm like, getting smashed by them. But yeah, one love to them. One love. Everything plays has a part no so when we're um we're healing we're looking at mind body and spirit the purification mind body and spirit so a lot of people are you know really struggling at this time with the ascension symptoms but the cleaner that you can keep your body the easier it's going to be movement daily movement like i said stretch move your body because the energy is going to flow through you a lot easier Okay, if you think about it, you're just sitting still all the time. You're not moving your body. Light's trying to come through to assist you with your shadow work, to assist you to expand your consciousness. This light's coming through, guys, for us. Take advantage of this time of shift. This is the lifetime. I promise you, this is the lifetime. You want liberation? Work with the energies, okay? Make your body your, your priority. Clean your body. Make your body your priority. You wake up every morning, you straight on the body work. That's what I do. I do not fool around. I wake up, I'm straight on the body work. I'm doing the yoga. I'm doing the coffee enemas. I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm training. You know, I'm making my juices. I'm, I'm doing the correct things for my body. 
okay a lot of people are getting um you know um i can never say that word tinnitus their ears are ringing their ears are ringing i haven't experienced that on my journey a lot and there's a lot of different theories out there that are people saying oh you know you get tinnitus because you know you're you're matching the frequencies and and, and stuff you know you're but to me personally i don't agree with that each to their own okay as you raise your vibration as you raise your frequency why would you actually be in discomfort if your body is clean if you're doing the correct things if you're grounding if you're staying grounded bare from the earth hug the trees come out in the earth if you're around a lot of um like emf um pollution if you're around the wi-fi all the time those wi-fi towers okay i personally feel that can affect that can affect you big time because it, it affects your electromagnetic body your aura your energy because your energy it affects you big time so if you're having these e stuff going on pay attention change things up and see how you feel maybe go and spend like you know spend a day in the forest like this and see if that goes down if it reduces then you'll see okay yeah well i need to ground enough go and maybe spend a weekend plan yourself a, a, a you know a camping trip for the weekend immerse yourself in the earth like this camp out and you'll see you probably start to feel a lot better so then you'll know what's going on with your body and how to better support your body through this process yeah um yeah there's nothing to fear at this time guys the earth is just shifting and changing so much okay there's a lot of stuff going on out there but we don't need to put fear to it we just got to support our body at this time because when the healthier and cleaner our body is like myself i'm doing another um, round of parasite cleansing at the moment so when you're killing off pathogens you know um, bacterial overgrowth um, you know fungus whether it be SIBO uh, parasites it does take its toll on your body so it's listening to your body at this time okay like the lights flooding through the earth and you know we've like I said we're in solar maximum so we're getting a lot of X class solar flares we're getting a lot of M class solar flares look at it like this it's just more light it's more energy that's coming through the earth more energy it's breaking up the density it's breaking it up okay so support your body to make this process a lot easier for you a lot easier for you you know and explore start exploring now because big farmer big farmers going down is what I'm saying big farmers going down big time so because all that all those medications are just toxic they pollute your liver they pollute your body they fuck your third eye they stunt your growth okay so explore natural medicines explore start studying start studying that's how i become so familiar with you know herbs and the right foods to care for my body because i study all the time i'm always expanding my awareness okay so go and read the books be that beautiful nerd and jump into the library and, and borrow those books sit in the library spend a couple of hours in the library and just research jump on the internet you know instead of wasting your time and you know losing energy watching dumb stuff go and educate yourself on health how you can better look after your body study food study herbs okay and look at what you can use that's natural natural painkillers okay look at all the different beautiful natural remedies because like i said big farmers on their way out all that's going to crumble as part of this shift all old systems are going to crumble the monetary system is going to change and i don't know what that's going to look like okay um the yeah so all the financials are going to change um the medical system is going to change it's time to start exploring holistic um different holistic um healing modalities me myself i've done so many different healing modalities okay i'm an energy healer i'm an alchemist so besides that okay i've done so many different things i've done emdr which is a trauma therapy which really goes deep into trauma it's e m for mary emdr trauma therapy look into that okay there's all this psychology there's different psychology and psychology to do like all different things okay at the end they talk therapy is so beneficial because you can just talk it out and sometimes that's all we need to do is just open our throat chakra and clear it out okay that's another thing I want to say actually while we're there on the throat chakra. A lot of people are having issues with tonsils and just sore throat and things like that. You think the light's coming through and it's clearing us? We're clearing up. Okay? So throat chakra. When your throat chakra is being cleared, you can experience coughing. You can experience inflammation. 
but the thing is you don't want to go because it's just energy shifting you're clearing out okay you're learning to stand more and speak your truth now you're standing in your power you're learning to speak your truth now always pardon me always speak your truth with compassion open your throat right up speak your truth with compassion okay always speak your truth but you know these are different sensations we can have in the throat but what you know what you don't want to do though is to go and cover cover up because whatever's coming up trying to be purified people are covering it up now with drugs you know with all these toxins okay you can gargle salt water you could look at herbs and different things to soothe your throat if you're having a sore throat and that's why you know the whole like i ain't trying to get sensitive here guys but you know all that whole that word you know that they busted out in 2020 that word okay me personally what i feel that word was because i never went along with that agenda because i know it's been an agenda they've had that agenda set for many many years because they knew this time was coming okay that's why they brought in that agenda at that specific time as the earth was going through the shift at this time that's why they brought in that c word okay so people think they've got the c word when really people are purifying we're purifying we're ascending we're going through the shift okay and that's why they pushed everyone to go and get the um all that stunt you from your ascension to alter to alter you your DNA is everything protect your DNA at this time my friends and if you went down that road and you got all those things it's okay there's no need to fear look into detoxification protocols there's so much you can do to detox it's 2024 baby we need a detox now we need to keep our vessel nice and clean we need to move our body we need to eat well we need to do the healing. We need to clear out all the stuff that no longer serves us to raise our vibration because the earth's vibration is rising. We need to keep up with the earth's shift. The earth is changing. We need to keep up with the changes. Okay? So, pay attention to your body. What's going on? Where's the blocks? What's going on? Okay? What's going on? Because the body holds onto a lot of stuff. So, you know you just really have to really tune into your body and listen to your body and if you're tired because a lot of people are feeling so lethargic and tired right now because yes we're recalibrating our, our dna is recalibrating and it may not even necessarily mean that you've got a shitload of toxins in your body it just maybe means that you just need more rest sometimes we just need more rest we wake up sometimes and like because we you know look we've been in spiritual battle for a while now okay for a while now and a lot of us light workers a lot of us light warriors okay whether you know it or not okay are out there on the battleground energetically so we're out there so in your sleep when you're sleeping you're out there clearing you're doing spiritual work you're out there clearing the land you're out there like releasing old karma you're helping people you're doing so much this is why sometimes you wake up and you feel absolutely zonked out you haven't slept but you slept for like 10 hours and you feel you can sleep another five this is why my friends okay so there's so much going on so much going on um etherically energetically that you that a lot of us are unaware of that we can see okay so just keep flushing out of lots of water support your body spend time in meditation spend time in meditation when you drop into meditation all the answers will come to you and you know it's about being patient too don't sit there and feel frustrated because you're meditating and you're not getting the answers because it's, it's 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 part of learning to come out of the ego and trusting your spirit your higher self What's higher self is your spirit. Okay, don't be misled by all these, you know, um, new age spiritualists out there. This, they've, uh, they're pushing a lot of genders. I'll do another video on those. Okay, I will do another video on that. How to protect yourself, how to be aware, and you know, because they're pushing a lot of false things out there to really stop you at this time of shift. Okay, but that's another video. Stay tuned for that. Um, what more can I say really? I mean my legs are so itchy. It's like what? I've got like hundreds of mosquito bites on here, but all for the love of y'all <laughs> All for grounding you got to do what you got to do. It's so uncomfortable sometimes, you know when we're going through Remember this Okay, when we're going through the darkness Sometimes we feel absolutely ripped completely ripped apart Do not lose hope in that process my friend Do not lose hope you need to remember you purify it and at the end of that discomfort, at the end of that big deep purge, that deep cry, that really deep cry, you know that really deep cry where you feel like you're going to die? At the end of that, okay, you're going to feel a lot lighter, okay, your consciousness has expanded even more, you're going to jump into a higher timeline, 
than what you are on right now. So if you're in it right now, I promise you, from my heart to yours, from my soul to yours, this too shall pass. Remember that. Sometimes it can feel really extreme. Reach out to someone if you can. Please reach out to someone. You don't need to do it alone. And remember, Spirit's got your back. So you ask Spirit to help you. Spirit, please help me at this time of shift. Please give me more support. When we pray, you don't need to. I spoke to a brother of mine, okay? When we pray, shout out to you, bro. You know who you are. One love. One love to you and the family, okay, guys? All right? So when we pray, you don't need to be religious to pray. I ain't religious. I'm spiritual. I know my divinity, okay? But I pray. Because when we pray, we're speaking to the universe. When we pray, it's a form of manifesting. We're putting it out there. That's prayer. Prayer is so powerful. Prayer and faith goes hand in hand. It's like when you manifest, you're asking the universe for something, you ain't going to doubt it. You trust it's going to come in in divine timing. So when you pray, it's the same thing. Put your faith. Start having more faith in the universe. Okay, universe, please help me to have more faith then. And then you'll see. You'll start to have more faith. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so you're not alone, guys. Okay. It's, you know, and a lot of us have been doing this work for so long and we feel like, oh my God, when is this ever going to stop? I feel like I've been doing layers and layers and going through these layers and layers and layers for years now. Dark night of the soul for years. When the fuck is this going to end? Patience, baby. We have to learn patience. The more we can learn patience, okay, bang, we'll just tick that off. Okay, I've embodied patience now. I'm out of the ego with that. Yeah? Mind, body and spirit purification. So it's about ego dissolution. We're learning to merge with our spirit we're not learning we are we're merging with our spirit we're learning about the ego we're recognizing the ego traits oh yeah this is a judgment am i judging someone right now bang that's part of the ego so now you bring awareness to that you're more mindful you're not going to judge people now okay self-love it's really important now to embody self-love okay it's really really important to embody self-love and look after your body at this time Self-love is everything. So if you're feeling absolutely zapped and what, don't keep pushing yourself. You don't need to go to the gym today, for example. You don't need to train today right now. You feel absolutely drained. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to do something completely different and put a movie on. Maybe you don't watch a movie. I never watch movies, but I'll put a movie on just recently just to zone out in it. And actually, it made me laugh. It was pretty funny. Okay? I was like, cool. I'm not going to study tonight. I'm not going to do this. I need to nurture myself and love myself more. So run yourself the bath. Okay, tell your partner, tell the kids, tell your housemate, tell your friends, whoever. Actually, right now, I need to do me right now. And if they've got a problem with that, reassess your friendships, reassess your relationships. Because we should be honouring each other right now. We should be supporting each other right now. And if people aren't supporting you and honouring you, it's time to walk away, my friends. And that's okay. It's okay to walk away. People are going to come. People are going to go. This is life. Impermanence. Everything is impermanent. People coming and going. People are coming to serve us. Yeah? People are coming to serve us. Okay? So, just remember that. Yeah? Um, you got this. At the end of the day. You've got this. Sorry, my teeth has gone cold. <laughs> so, dandelion tea. Dandelion globe artichoke. Dandelion and globe artichoke is super beneficial for your liver and your gallbladder. It helps with bile production too. Okay? So, I use this. And in here, I've also got uh, peppermint. Peppermint's good for digestion. Peppermint's good for lots. And I also have chamomile. Because when the body is going through all this craziness, all this purging and all these energetics, and we're just like, what the fuck's going on? Mind, body, and spirit's getting smashed around here. What? Well, my system needs to calm down a little bit. So I'm going to immerse myself in the earth and sip some tea. I've got the chamomile in there to zen me out a bit. So my central nervous system is nice and calm. Look, it's just so calm out here. Like, this is a vibe. Even though, like, my leg is completely... There's even a mozzie on it. Even though, sorry if my legs are spiky. <laughs> you got to love yourself, right? Who cares if you have spiky legs in the bush? <laughs> love yourself more, my friend, because you're still here at this time of shift, okay? You're still here through everything, all right? So, yeah, really look after your body, okay? I just really, really want to just get that out there. Really look after your body at this time. Push yourself when you need to push yourself. But if you need to rest and relax, rest and relax and be kind to you. Honour you. Honour you now. Okay? I honour you. You're here. You're still here in this lifetime. They've done everything to try to take us from our feet. But we are stronger than them. We are stronger than the low vibrating energetics. We are stronger than the government. 
They're stronger than all those organizations on the top of the hierarchical train. Okay? We're spu- we're, we are spirit embodied here in a physical vessel ascending to the top. Now's the time to flourish. Now's the time to live your greatest existence. Sometimes we have to go through the darkness. Sometimes we have to go through the shadow. Sometimes we have to be absolutely ripped apart to be able to recognize and to embody our light. You are God. You hold the God code within your sovereign. No one or nothing can ever take that from you. So be on your way. I hope this video finds you well. Be on your way to really look after your physical vessel at this time. Okay? And all these ascension symptoms, there's so many ascension symptoms, you'll start to see you won't struggle as much. You won't struggle as much. And if you're really caught up in the loop of the anxiety loop and stuff, what is it? Why, why, why are you fearing? What's the fear there? Is it old fear that's lodged? Because fear is held in the, in the root chakra, which is your lower chakra, which is red. See it at the base of your spine. Bring awareness to this every day if you really struggle with anxiety and fear, okay? Bring awareness to this every single day, okay? Just sit there and bring your awareness to it. Bring the light to it. Clear it out. Bring the light to it, okay? Watch things shift. Things will shift. It's just because you're stuck in that fear. This is where the anxiety is coming from. Fear affects your kidneys, okay? I know people who um, have their kidneys are absolutely destroyed because of fear. And I'm talking fear from childhood, Okay, fear because of all the stuff that they're putting in the world. So whatever's making you feel scared right now, because most likely the media or the mainstream media, all that propaganda and shite out there, switch it off. That does not exist in my world. This is my world here. I see purple tea. I do the body work. I'm doing the shadow work. I'm just raising my vibration. I'm here pushing out love to humanity. I'm nestled here in the forest. What's that of fear? Oh, is a bear going to come out and eat me? If a bear's going to come out and eat me, I don't know if there's a bear here. Is there a bear here? If a bear's going to come out and eat me, oh well, it's my time then. I finish on the earth plane. But I ain't going anywhere yet. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so what's that fear? Don't fear. There's nothing to fear. Fear is such a low vibrating energetics. Transmute that fear into self-love. Transmute that fear into feelings of safety and security. I'm safe and secure in this world. It's about time we feel safe and secure in this world. Okay? I think tea tree oil will be good on my legs. I think tea tree oil is a natural natural what do you call it mosquito repellent but i'll go and find something like maybe lavender i'll go and find something and if you have any suggestions please drop in the comments what will soothe these um, mosquito bit legs of mine okay so yeah there's nothing for you guys okay where we're headed new earth heaven on earth just take a moment to just really take a moment to just like really think about that Lean into that, feel that, see that, visualize that. Heaven on earth. Everyone is united as one big family. We're no longer like reigned, you know, d- controlled. Those poxy ass governments. Okay? People out there killing each other and raping each other and doing this heinous shit. We're united as one. The earth is healed. We're healed. We're living on the highest vibration. We're creating. We're flourishing. We're at peace with ourselves. It means we're at peace with one another. We've done the inner work. Our, ex- our consciousness has expanded. We're at peace within ourselves. We feel so amazing. That's how we should. That's how it should be. That's how it was way back, pre-flood days, way, way back. That's how it was. So this whole shift, what it's about, is we're going back to that. Heaven on earth will be restored. That's what this shift is about, baby. Okay? That's what the shift is about. So there's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. That's what I'm trying to say. Nothing. Nothing at all. My hair. It's a vibe. So yeah. And, 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 and also, you start to feel good. You feel so good. You feel good. The more density you can drop off, the more healing that you do, you feel so good. You just get rid of it all. Clear it all out because it no longer serves you. Your old stuff, you, you're still getting triggered. Okay? Why am I being triggered? What's, what's the triggers these days? It's a childhood trauma. Clear it out. Clear it out. Work on it. Clear it out. Maybe ex-marriage, whatever it may be. Odd friendship. Someone stunted you. Someone hurt you. Someone did whatever. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all make mistakes. Can you learn to love yourself now and learn from your mistake? You want to keep making the same mistake? Okay, we'll keep making the same mistake. But if you're going to learn from the mistake, 
Everyone, we're all here having the human experience. So don't be so hard on you. You're holding on to guilty. Guilty is just going to stunt you. Guilty is going to be lodged in your womb space. Get rid of the guilt. Okay? Maybe you terminated a baby and you're carrying guilt for that. Because you didn't feel that you can bring this child into this world at this time. Maybe you took, you know, one of those things. Or maybe you gave one of those things to your child. And then maybe the child got affected. Love yourself. Forgive yourself. You did not know. Because if you knew, would you do that? This is how you got to talk to yourself. I'm sorry if that sounds rough, guys. That's tough love. That's what I'm saying. Give yourself that talk. Give yourself that talk. Slide out of that victim mentality. We're not a victim. We're not fuck-ups. It's all ego. It's all this brainwashing that made us feel this way. People made us feel this way. Cabal and all them made us feel a certain way. We can be kind and love ourselves now. Okay? Also, I just feel to mention this as well, um, with the detoxing and stuff as well, because um, imbalances in the body, because the body needs to be balanced, mind, body, and spirit. So if we look at imbalances in the body and because of, you know, childhood um, vaccinations and stuff like that um, and all these um, heavy metal, accumulation of heavy metals and toxins in the body, these, I've done a lot of research. So please do your research, guys, okay? Please do your research. Now, these are a lot of cause cause to um alzheimer's alzheimer's disease okay adhd and autism so please do your research because i personally believe that you can heal all of them i personally believe you could heal anything you have cancer you could heal it cancer only survives in a body okay when the cells when their cell when the cells uh, are damaged when the cells are damaged what feeds cancer sugar sugar feeds cancer okay so that's what i'm saying really scan your diet okay maybe you have children who have um autism really look into do your research okay on stripping the heavy metals and stuff out of their system parasites parasites can really screw your body guys everyone carries parasites everyone has parasites so it's good to keep the body clean parasites don't like sugar okay sorry parasites feed off sugar parasites love sugar so if you're on a keto diet, okay, do you think there's going to be parasites in your body? If you're eating the right foods, you're eating the green from the earth, you're eating, you're eating correctly. I'm keto. I eat keto diet. And I knew when I had parasites because I'm like, I'm craving sugar all the time. So you starve them off. You bring in the herbs and you, you, do, the, you do everything properly, you starve them off. Because you can bring in herbs into your diet, for example, to kill off um parasites i've done this before you bring in herbs to kill off parasites but you're not eliminating the grains okay like rice quinoa corn or whatever corn's a gmo by the way look into gmo because they're toxic so if you're not eliminating because you think about it okay so you're eating say potato for example oh susie but potato's not sugar but potato converts into glucose once it's in your body so this is sugar so keto based diet when you're not eating the grains because rice rice okay all those corn tortillas things they all convert into glucose which is really bad for your body if you have parasites because you're going to feed them you're going to feel, feed the candida overgrowth you're going to feel, feed all those pathogens so it's important to really scan your diet and have a look do your research okay i research all the time i love researching i'm such a nerd i fucking love it i love me i love who i am i love who i'm becoming every day i'm flourishing okay i'm dump, dumping off the, the density i'm saying goodbye to it goodbye parasites Goodbye shadows, energies, all old dense ass energies. Goodbye to it all, because I'm liberating myself. No one's going to liberate you but you. I'm here to guide you. So if you resonate, please subscribe. Please share my video, guys, okay? Share my video, please, so we can, you know, spread the love. Okay, I get on a bit of a rant sometimes, but yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, any questions or comments, please drop them below. And um, I continue to do my best to just put out the right content for you guys at this time of shift, okay? Um, so yeah, please do your research, okay? And always use discernment, okay? Trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition. If it feels off, it means it's off, okay? So in the meantime, go and love yourself and look after your body, support your body at this time of shift. And just remember, the best is yet to come. We're going to the top, baby. To the top! All the way. I'm going to sit here in retreat now and sip my tea in the forest. One love!